Silk Co. I thought so, but I wasn't too sure. Gotta tell you, the leg is almost too strong. Some of the people that are like that are actually, um, they're undercover, undercover rockets. So like, for example, you'll go up to them and they'll be like, hey, I'm actually undercover. They'll blow their cover and then battle you. Up or down, up. Could I, I had like one of those moments where it's like, where am I again? Because if I was in the rocket base, I'd want to be going down, not up, but not in the rocket base, so I want to go up, not down. Seconds. Hit him with a side beam. End of his life. There are a few things that will withstand the side beam attack. I mean, and one more time. There we go, level 15. Nice. The higher the level up, like the higher I can level him up before I start heading out to the 7th gym, the better. The less grinding I'll have to do then, in that case. I'm still, I, I know I'm gonna have to grind with him one way or another to get him the XP I need to because he should be about level 30-ish by the time I start to head out. He's gonna have a disadvantage no matter what because it's gonna be water against water until I get to the fire, until I get to the 7th gym, but still. As long as I keep one normal move, I, I'll be fine. Rocket has taken command of Silphco. No shit. Took command of all of Saffron City. <laughs> and then Machop. Machop, Machop. Send out, of course, Bell. The reason I've been using Bell for such so long and why he's such a high level is because I've been using him for so long. But the reason I've been using him for so long is to go through um, Gym 6 or 5 and 6. Which is poison and poison and psychic derp. Now really I shouldn't use spell for the psych or the poison one, but it's probably I don't know. The reason you shouldn't because there's drowsies and hypnos and they don't like to die from a uh a side beam. As you've seen for the Hypno earlier, not the Drowsy, surprisingly. There's that, there's um, a couple other things that are just, like, they'll just walk, walk the side beam off. It'll still damage them greatly, but it'll walk it off like it was nothing. Yeah, it's that one that I don't want to get. this place that I have to do, but it's not specific for that one, it's on the other side. I gotta go through the teleporter twice and then I'll be able to get the key. This Hypno, I can tell you right away, I'm not gonna have one hit, because he's level 33. I'm gonna probably do about one third his health. Yeah. If he was like, because level 28, at that, he, I don't, I wouldn't do, like I wouldn't one hit him, so... 
Even if I was a critical, I still wouldn't have killed him after the one third. Headbutt me too. I don't think I have any antidote, which kind of sucks. I have to say. Did get a fair amount of XP though, which is good. Sparks level 28, I'll take it. Tell me I have an antidote. Nope. Shit, what floor am I on anyways? I remember that. I'm just gonna dig out and go there to heal. I believe the store is still open here, and I could go there and see if they have any antidotes, but nope. I'm gonna learn the hard way. I believe I was on the fourth floor, this would be the first, or the second, third, fourth. Yeah. So, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, that's the fifth floor. Ready? If you read them all, it tells you about like which ones evolve and which ones don't. See, I want to get that. The way to get that, you have to um. Yeah, see, this is one of those guys. The way to get that, you have to go through the portal and then come back through it again to go that way and get it. And we leveled up to level 55, so it's all good. You can get a Mr. Mime. Um, I forget what you have to trade. Or, or no, sorry, Jinx is the one you have to trade for. Mr. Mime, you can get... The Pokey, or it's not the Pokey, then the game, the game corner. That's how you get the Mr. Mom. Grab a level 30, nice. You know what I'd like to see? Him being level 16. Next one, next one. I, I don't really know, I haven't been... haven't been paying attention or anything. Fight this dude. Study Pokeball technology on this floor. Scientist wants to fight. Magneton. Horse bell. Bam. So coughing. Same thing. There we go. Perfect. 
But yeah, you, you guys, like, you can see this now, it takes, like, 30 seconds to get through one battle. Well, not, like, not a whole, how do I explain this? 30 seconds to get through one fight, basically. Or after the fight, to, like, transition from one fight to the next, because of all the text I have to go through. Despite the fact it gives me a shit ton of XP. this guy right now. So I'm gonna be fighting him one way or another. So I'll fight him now and then go through the portal, come back through it, and then go get the key. Arbok. That was a side beam. I might be able to get through the tower before I uh, stop recording. I mean like I have a fair bit left and I want to get all the items and crap too so We'll see, though. Okay, now... That one... Back to it... Down... Okay. Yeah, if you're doing, like, a casual playthrough of this, and you don't know... You don't know, like, about this or anything... Like, it's, say it's your first time going through this... It will, it will have you stuck here for a little bit. I guarantee you that. Cause you'll go through that portal. Cause you'll be like, okay, well I gotta go through the portals and find out which way progresses me through the game. So you'll go through the portals, but you won't clue in that you need to go through that portal and then come back out that same portal to go through the same way. Um, I believe these the the four brothers like this is one of the brothers right now if you just paid attention to Texter. I believe if you beat them all then they they tell you like a hint to it but they don't flat out tell you. So it's still still hard to understand. And think about like being a kid and trying to do this. You'd have to basically stumble upon it. There's no way you probably figured it out. Not I'm not saying it's impossible. If you did then it's really good. But a lot of people probably didn't. They probably just stumbled upon it after like hours of trying to get through it. Because you need the key to open up a door, a lot of the locked doors, to get to a teleporter that progresses you further up the tower. Which is no actual other way to get up that way. All these people are just uh, regular employees. Except maybe that one at the bottom here, I'll talk to him and see. Sorry about that, just sending a text. You dare betray Team Rocket? I wouldn't call it betray. Zubat, go Bell! That's Thigh Beam. XP with everybody. Shad's up over time. Nope. Won't change. Just keep hammering away at this.
go by. Or under 10 XP, that's a fair amount. Just gonna double check to see if there's anything over here. I believe there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing. Never hurts to double check though. I fought him. Sidekick now. Jesus Christ, I'm actually so much tech, so much tech now. Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well. Nothing really too much to explain again. Like these battles are pretty much straightforward. I'm just tanking everything with Bell. Squirt's level 17. But yeah, Bell is just tanking everything right now, whether it be Psychic Beam I use or Psychic I use. Regardless. So it's all good. And then Squirt leveled up to level 17, which is good. As I said, the whole point of me getting the XP all and wasting that first hour of this recording time, which is actually going to be three different parts. It'll be part 36, 37, and a little bit part 38. Um, the whole reason I wanted to do that, to get all the Pokemon I needed to, was to get the XP all. And then the reason for that is to get the experience with everybody now. Mainly, I wanted just to get Squirt to a higher, like, as a highest level as possible before I have to start grinding up with him to get him to an even higher level before I start going on, but also the fact that, you know, I'm just getting XP with all my Pokemon now. Regardless if, it's not, not just for Squirt, which is great because I want them the highest level as possible for when I go to do the Elite Four. So I'm not going to be grinding out any, not going to be grinding them out at all once I do, once I get past uh, the 8th gym. Basically once I get to the 8th gym I'll be um, taking out my most Pokemon which will probably be Sparks and then going through it and yeah. Another one of the four brothers there. Pretty sure they don't say anything until he beat the last one, but. Yeah. Which is typical, of course. Rocket wants to fight. I could just mix it up right now, but, man, yeah, whatever. Getting Bell to the highest possible level isn't, isn't bad at all. It's just this text is killing me, Jesus. Zero's level 31. Ready to go, Zero. It's 
thigh beam that. Y'all still hear it fine, but it's my headset. There we go. My headset's really finicky. Like, I actually need to buy a new one. <laughs> Beam his ass too. Super effective. Mash through, you know, 30 seconds worth of text. Not in that way. Go down this way. <laughs> you mistook me, uh, you mistook me for a self worker, question mark. No, I didn't. <sighs> Use my side beam up. And then the rest of the psychics, and then I'll have to probably dig out. Fifty-six, I'll take it. Nope. I'm fine. Fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm for this battle. Super effective. Perfect. <laughs> I'm done. Oh, that's funny. Give calcium to Sparks. I see that's the right way we're supposed to be going because, like, you go through the teleporter and you'll end up at the top there. You go left and then down and then you'll run into. Gary, your arch rival, and then you'll go through there and then you'll progress even further to the right direction you're actually supposed to be going. But the only way to get to that, that room is through a teleporter down below. What am I doing right now? Or am I on actually? Oh, that doesn't help. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I was on eighth floor. Um. So, anyways, the way to progress through this this part of the game is you're supposed to find the key card or the card key, whatever it was, which is really hard to find if you don't know where it is. And then after you do that, you're supposed to figure out that you go through a tell or you open the door and go through the teleporter, which brings you into this one isolated room, which is only possible to get to by teleporter. And then you have to fight your eye tribal, you go through the teleporter, he's blocking kind of. And then from there, you can get all the way to the top of the tower and then fight. Fight, um, sorry for the awning. 